What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Hidden Heights Farm Vlog. Today we got a little bit of a different story for you. Uh, we had a goat deliver a kid last night, late last night, and it was just a single little female kid, but the mama's milk never came in. So we, you know, we knew the problem. Uh, the mama cleaned up the baby. She was doing all the mom instincts. She just did not have any milk for the baby. So what I got here is some uh, colostrum that we mixed up. We started this last night. Me and Rachel came out late last night after we determined the mom didn't have any milk. Mixed up the colostrum, got her to eat, fed her every four hours, and uh, fed her early this morning, and now it's time again to feed her. But I uh, called the local vet and talked to him, and uh, he got me a uh, injection of oxytocin. And I know a lot of you moms out there have probably heard of the oxytocin before. Sometimes they give it to you when you uh, are in the hospital. Uh, it kind of stimulates um, contractions and stuff like that in women when they're going into labor. It does a lot of other stuff I don't, I don't even really know about, so I'm not going to try to act like I do. But it does, um, one thing it does in a lot of mammals is it uh, actually releases or stimulates milk production so hopefully by giving her this uh injection intermuscularly muscularly can't hardly talk i am inner muscle um it will help drop the milk and uh, her udder will fill up because she's doing everything she can to raise this baby she just does not have the milk she's been cleaning her up and everything else and we'll walk out there in here just a minute and uh i'll show you guys giving the injection to her and then i'll show you uh me feeding the baby we do not like raising the bottle babies here on the farm but as part of it uh like I, you know it's just it's not fun because every four hours but anyways we're gonna do what we can do to try to uh, get this baby back to healthy and um Give her this oxy oxytocin injection, and uh, hopefully it does its right, job. Guys, that is the baby, and it is so small. I'll show you guys here in a minute, but it'll just about fit in my hand. And uh, good thing to come out here. Mama got her head stuck in this uh, on these boards in this pen, so it's a good place for her to be, so I can get her the uh, injection, and uh, hopefully that uh, oxytocin will start doing its thing. So I'm gonna give her a shot real quick, and uh, I'll show you guys some more of me feeding this little bottle baby. How did you get your head in here? Goodness. There you go. Come out. Nope. Uh, let's try the outside. Do a cartwheel to get your head stuck in here or what? your baby. You doing okay? Huh? Alright, come here. You can clean your baby in a minute. I gotta get her some milk. Alright guys, so here is the little baby. Look how tiny this thing is. Super, super tiny. You got it on your mouth there. Alright, you ready to eat? Here, here's your bubble. You got it in your mouth. Let's get this. Okay. So we got the milk warmed up good. Not too hot. Sometimes it takes them just a few minutes to uh, get the sucking down off these bottles. There you go.
And guys, we're going to do everything we can to uh, take care of this little baby and give it a chance at life. Um, we do not like raising bottle babies, but it's part of it. Um, we went through the last two years and did not have a problem with any of our kids. And uh, the mamas took care of all of them. But this is the first one we've had in two years. And hopefully... See, the mama's trying to to uh, clean her up there, looking around on her hind end a little bit. And that's a good thing because it stimulates the baby to eat whenever they do that. I know you guys can't see, but I'm just going to keep rolling the video. Uh, back to what I was saying is, uh, we don't like raising these bottle babies. Um, it's, it takes a lot of time because right now you got to feed them every four hours, about four ounces for about the first week or so. But she's already got it down. She's a, she's a little tiny baby, but man, she's got the willpower. She did not want to give up. We came out last night and checked on her after she had the uh, baby and noticed she didn't have any milk. So we went ahead and put them in the barn stall, mixed up some uh, warm colostrum, and came out here and started feeding her. And we'll, we'll feed her colostrum at least probably for a day or two. And then we'll switch over to just some milk formula. But hopefully, with the grace of God, hopefully the uh, mama's milk will drop and uh, she can start getting her mama's milk. I don't have another goat that will take the baby right now that's uh, in milk or freshened. Or if we did, you could, you know, you could just put this baby on another mama. It's not an easy task to do, but it can be done. Here you go, baby. But this is one of the smallest baby goats I've ever seen in my life. From a standard size goat. Um, I don't know if it was born premature or if it has some issues, but it was a single, like I said. The mama never really did get very big. And of course she didn't have any problem in uh, birthing it because it was so small, but she, she does have the mom instincts, which is a good deal. So I'm not going to say she's a bad goat and we won't just immediately cull her. Um, it could be, she could have got head butted and caused an early uh, delivery or something. It could be anything. Uh, the the key to all this is the mom is uh, being a good mom. Uh, as soon as it hit the ground, the mama got her cleaned up and dried up and she didn't leave her side. And uh, she's been licking on her and just talking to her this whole time. So hopefully the oxytocin will work and uh, boost her milk to where it drops in her udder and uh, she'll keep licking around on this baby and trying to get it to nurse off of her. There you guys go. Just a cute little baby Spanish goat. And this one is tiny, tiny. Look at this. Tiny. You got your belly full, don't you? So she starts whining and crying like that and her mama runs over here. Mama's crunching around on some alfalfa hay I got in here for her. So you guys can see the mama is definitely interested in her baby still. So that's a good, good sign. We could just get her milk to drop. We've never had to um, do this before. Uh, as far as when the mamas have the babies, we've never had a mama goat uh, not have milk. Now we have had several mama goats in the past. None of the Spanish Rikikos, but some in the past that we've had, some of the Nigerian dwarfs and some of the others we've had, did not want anything to do with their babies, and we had to bottle feed them. This is the first time we've ever had a mama goat not have milk in her udder. And this, this goat actually had babies last year. She had twins last year and raised them fine. So I don't think she's a bad mom by no means or anything like that. And you can tell her back legs are a little weak too. So that's another sign that she could be early. And uh, I'll, go, I'll give her some selenium. I'll probably wait till tomorrow because I want to make sure she gets this in her belly. This is a colostrum. I want that to get in her system before we try to give her too much of anything else. But you can see she's, you know, she's got the willpower to lift, so we're going to keep doing this. And hopefully she recovers and the mom gets her milk in and uh, it's a happy ending. Which it's not always that way, so we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and uh, feed her some more milk. And uh, she don't got much left. I mixed up a half a cup and this is what's left. All right, baby. Pretty little girl. 
So anyways guys, uh, I won't end this video just yet. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a couple more hours. Uh, in about four hours when I come out to feed the baby again, we'll check the mama again just to see if her bag has dropped or she's gotten any milk. Uh, Rachel tried to, just to see if there was any milk in her yesterday and she couldn't get anything to come out. But you can see she hardly has no udder at all. Okay, it's been four hours exactly since the last feeding. We're walking out to the barn now. Rachel's got the bottle and we're gonna see if there's any progress in the uh, dough's milk. I don't know how long or how quick that stuff's supposed to last or take effect. Man, it's just a teeny, teeny baby. Is it okay? Yeah. It's breathing. It's sleeping. I don't. I can't really tell if her udder has changed. It doesn't look like it. Here you go. Rachel's gonna feed her. I don't know, it might be getting a little bigger actually. It's hard to tell. It might be getting bigger. It's better than it was. It's getting bigger than it was? Yes. Well, hopefully the milk drops and anything come out mm -mm. no not yet okay so still no progress um no milk anyways but the udder it does physically look bigger hopefully the baby still eats the colostrum probably tomorrow morning we can start feeding it just regular uh milk the goat milk replacer These other goats are starting to come check out, check out everything. You eating? Not yet. Maybe it's ready to take a nap again. I think she's got to wake up. <laughs> Mom's over here munching on some grain. And we got that alfalfa. Alfalfa is really good, uh, especially like in dairy goats that are uh, milk producers, like people that milk them. A lot of the dairy goat owners will feed uh, their goats alfalfa all the time because it's high protein and it really puts on the milk. <clears throat> so we're doing everything we can to uh, try to get the mom in a condition to start feeding the baby. There we go. Spit it out. There you go. Sticky. All right, guys. So she's ate some of the bottle, but she don't have a real big appetite right now. So we might try it here in a couple hours or something to feed her a little more. Uh, the mom's looking fine. She's eating, drinking water. Uh, her udder is getting a little bigger, but we still don't have any milk coming out of her teeth yet. Um, I don't know. It's not. It's not looking great for this little goat. Uh, we're gonna try to bottle feed it all we can, but. No guarantee she's going to make it. There's one of the other new babies playing on the doghouse already. Good thing we left those doghouses out. <laughs> Alright, so um, I guess we'll try again here in a little bit to uh, give her some more milk. Her belly's still full though, so she might not be hungry yet. She ate a lot a while ago. Like she ate a whole lot actually. So guys, that's just part of a uh, goat farming. Sometimes you get these bottle babies like this. Um, I don't know how this one's gonna turn out for sure because usually when we have bottle babies, they're a lot bigger and already really healthy. And as you can see, this one here is teeny tiny. And for whatever reason, her mom didn't uh, drop her milk 
like normal normally they'll bag up a few days before they kid and you know you can already squeeze the colostrum or milk out of them you know even before they kid and this one here she's kitted and her bag's still really small her udder i'm sorry and i don't know we gave her the oxytocin hopefully it does its thing um that is oxytocin is a hormone that all mammals have and uh you know it's produced during childbirth it's a uh it's a gland around your brain i think and uh it's just it's a natural hormone so it's not like a weird chemical or nothing we're giving her like that so don't freak out about that um you guys know if any women's out there that's been through childbirth a lot of you probably uh, know what i'm talking about not everybody's used it or has gotten it in the hospital or from a doctor but i'm sure you women know what i'm talking about so anyways, we're going to get off here. we got a lot of chores to do. We're going to try to see to this goat. We're going to keep coming out here and feeding her every four hours. And uh, hopefully this goat's bag will start getting a little bigger and getting some milk in her. She's really cold. Is she cold? Might have to get a heat lamp I or something. I think we need to plug in a heat lamp. Her mouth is really, really cold and she's just... Yeah, I just don't know because she's so small. I don't know if there's something else going on. But... All right, guys, so uh, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. Um, no matter the outcome, we'll let you know what happens with this little tiny goat. This is the smallest goat we've ever had born on the farm, I'm pretty sure. So uh, if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave a comment down below, and uh, stay tuned for the next video.